భారత రాజ్యాంగం ప్రజాస్వామ్యాన్ని రక్షించడానికి ఈ ఎన్నికలు మంచి అవకాశమన్నారు కాంగ్రెస్ అగ్రనేత రాహుల్ గాంధీ ప్రజల హక్కులను కాపాడే రాజ్యాంగాన్ని మార్చే కుట్ర జరుగుతోందన్నారు కేరళలో ఎన్నికల ప్రచారంలో పాల్గొన్నారు రాహుల్ గాంధీ ఇండియా అందమైన పూలదండ లాంటిదన్నారు దండలో అన్ని పూలు ఉంటేనే బాగుంటుందన్నారు అలాగే దేశంలో అన్ని మతాలు వర్గాల ప్రజలు కలిసుంటేనే బాగుంటుందన్నారు రాహుల్ మోదీ మాత్రం ఓ వర్గానికి మేలు చేసేలా పనిచేస్తున్నారన్నారు రాహుల్ issues in the country are unemployment price rise but you will never see this in the national media farmers can block the highways to delhi but it will never be visible in the national media because the national media is fully controlled by the same people mr narendra modi has and so the question arises what are we going to do about the huge amount of inequality that has been created in our country you'll be surprised to know that there are 22 people in this country who have more wealth than 70 crore people and there are also 70 crore people in india who earn less than 100 rupees a day so in fact there are two indias one india that belongs to the billionaires where whatever dream they want to see they can see and fulfill and the other india where the large mass of indian people live the poor people the middle class pay the taxes in fact the poorest person in india pays exactly the same amount to gst as mr adani does if the poorest farmer buys a shirt and mr adani buys the same shirt they will pay exactly the same amount of gst and then the entire gst money goes into the hands of the richest 1520 i'll give you a figure that will shock you Mr Narendra Modi has forgiven 16 lakh crores worth of bank loans of the richest 25 Indians this is such a large number that when you say it, the average indian doesn't understand what you mean so i will say it to you in a different way mr narendra modi has given 22 people 25 years of manrega wages if you had started manrega in the year 2000 and you had given all the poor people manrega for 25 years that is the amount of money that mr narendra modi has given to 22 people so there is a direct transfer taking place from the poorest people of india to the richest people of india and the next government the congress party government the india alliance government is going to have to take some firm steps to address this inequality